Well, good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are talking all about a furry friend at the Humane Society who's looking for her or his forever home. Uh, we're also talking about car loans, leases, and more. How to save money when beginning your car buying experience. Plus, when you're ready to hit the stores again uh, in person for shopping, there are ways that you can stay safe, and we've got those tips and tricks from the experts. There is so much going on, so don't go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, an RGV native is making big waves in the film industry with a new film that not only inspires Latina women, but educates the public, and our team caught up with her for exclusive details. Go ahead and take a look at this week's Generation Inspiration segment. Por Rosa is a short narrative film uh, about the Madre Yalten, a group of women in East LA in the 1970s who sued the LA USC hospital after they found out they'd been sterilized without consent. And the story follows Eva, one of a fictionalized character who decides or has to make a decision by the end of this film to join the Madre Yalten. Uh, and she joins Idalia Vice, who plays the attorney in the short film, and they decide to sue the LA USC hospital. And it gives you a peek into, you know, some of the things that we have to deal with as Latinas, the decisions we have to make. Um, it also gives you a peek into our culture, uh, which is it's displayed beautifully on screen. And yeah, it's a story about empowerment and all of these decisions we have to make in our lives. It's been two years since we started this journey. Uh, I met the director in May of 2019, and it was then that we sort of started collaborating together. She sent me the script, and we sat down and met each other, and I read the story, and I said, this is very much the, the sort of stories that I want to tell as a Latina, stories about our community. Um, and that started the process. So throughout that summer, I met my producing partner, Sabrina Ellert, who is also a Latina. And we developed the story, uh, and then you, we started to find the crew and our executive producer, Chuy Martinez. I pitched him, I put together a deck, and I basically sold myself as a young Latina producer from South Texas who moved to Hollywood to make these stories. And he was like, all right, I'm in. And once he was in, we started to get other more traction, and we started to get the actors, and the big pieces that need to be put in place before you get into production are the department heads, the people who are going to do uh, the costume design. I'm sure, as you know, costume design, the editing, all of those pieces, one of the big people we got on board pretty quickly was a Latina editor uh, who works on This Is Us. She read the script and she was like, I'm in. And she didn't even charge us. And then we got a costume designer who worked on Aquaman, a Latina. She read the script, we could not afford her. And she was like, you know what, give me this much and I'm in. And all of these pieces started to fall in place and it was mostly Latina or women who read the script and they'd say, I'm in and you don't have to pay me. And so after we started to get the crew and the big people in place, uh, we went into production and production took a couple of weeks Again, that's when we saw our community step up. We had uh, somebody, uh, a man from uh, Compton, a Latino, he, he read the story and he said, you can have my house for a week. And he gave us his house and that's, what we, that's the set that you'll see in the film. And again, just the community rallying together. So then we went into production and then post-production and the pandemic hit. Uh, the post-production was in early 2020. And again, this is when the community stepped up. Uh, the director and I reached out to a, uh, a sound designer that did Roma, the sound designer that did Roma. He saw some of the footage and he said, okay, send me the footage and I'll do the sound design for you. So what you're seeing in this short film is a culmination of all of these pieces, these people who came on board to, to see the story uh, come through and pretty much just gave their services. Uh, yeah, and so the piece that I played is sort of shepherding the story from beginning to end. From developing the script, making sure the characters didn't feel very stereotypical, we really worked on Jorge, the Latino character. Uh, I, the director and I talked about not making him too machisto because I'm done seeing those Latino characters on screen. 
we talked about uh, the, the main actress not feeling too victimized. Um, so all of those pieces that come with being a producer, making sure you're telling the story, but telling it the right way and with the right sorts of characters that we want, or Latina producer wants represented on film. So I was raised in McAllen, Edinburgh area. I went to school right there, Main Street, Milan Elementary, and then my family moved to Edinburgh, we went to Truman Elementary, then uh, the Algarza, and then I started high school in Edinburgh. Um, and then soon after, I ended up finishing in Alice, which is a little small town outside of Corpus. Uh, but yeah, most of my life, my formative years were in the Valley, and it a lot of a lot of what I do today is because I was born and raised by the border. The sort of cultural influence that I bring to the table, my Latina lens, and I tell everybody, being born and raised in the Valley gave me the confidence in being who I am as a Latina, so that when I left, I moved to Texas State, um, moved to Austin, and it was a huge culture shock. Suddenly, I was like one of the Latinas in a room of people, a sea of people who are not. And I had to learn to find strength and my own voice as a Latina and be proud of it. Uh, because the Valley is such a beautiful mix of our culture and brought a, uh, allowed me to be raised with such confidence, I think, in who I am. And that was carried me through and continues to carry me through even in Hollywood. I'm able to speak through my my perspective and and be confident in that because of, of being born and raised in the valley. Um, yeah, and the storytelling piece of, of who I am is a lot of just the family that I come from. We're all storytellers. My mom had a church in in McAllen for a few years. Uh, just the community piece is another piece. When people are like, they walk on set and they'd say, "It's such a it's such a nice set. Everybody's so nice." And, and that's a that's a big piece when I would invite people on set. I'd say, "You're familia now," and what that means to be familia and part of the community. Again, that's just another. I think I want to say it's a cultural piece. It's how I was born and raised in, in a big Latino family. So you can watch uh, Ford Rosa on HBO Max. Uh, HBO, you log in and you search for Ford Rosa or Para Rosa, um, and you can find it on on that platform. Ashley hopes this film will inspire others from our RGB community looking to get into the film industry, as well as Latinas in general. Now to lend support for her mission, be sure to follow For Rosa on Instagram and use the hashtag For Rosa HBO. When you do, uh, the film will be on the channel for a while and we hope you can watch it. All right, well, the Humane Society of Harlingen is excited to serve dogs and cats in our Valley community, providing care, shelter, and loving homes for them. Our team dropped by their location to meet one furry friend who's ready to become your next family member. It's time now for Pet of the Week. Hi, everybody. Sarah here with the Humane Society of Harlingen. I'm joined today by little Oreo. He is a nine-month-old Chowini mix who is looking for his forever home at the Humane Society of Harlingen. If you're interested in adopting, come by the shelter or check out all the available pets that we have on our website at hshtx.org. We hope to see you here. All right, well, if you'd like to adopt uh, one of these pets and become a 956 champion, then feel free to visit their location in Harlingen or visit hshtx.org. All right, well, it's time now to take a commercial break, and then we've got to look at your local weather updates. But stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back. And we'll have details on auto leasing and buying, how to save money, and shop for a car in a smart way. Those details and more when we come back. <laughs> 